personally because I, I drive more but I heard from my friends and I think that uh, perhaps there can be a faster response time and also a, like a sort of clearer communication when it comes to a breakdown and also more frequencies of uh, buses and trains so I think there are still room for improvement. The government can look into really making the um, public transport a, a public run thing and not a private run company because the private companies they still have to deal with shareholders and stuff like that so it does not really serve the people and it's me so much called like serve shareholder interests. No, I think our transportation is fine actually. I think they just blow the matter out like, because Singapore is so small. Ma. So transportation breakdown and that's it already but because I I studied in Australia before so once it's breakdown the whole states just you know no no transport and they don't really care transportation to me is funny to really pay for a few thousand dollars just for a paper a certificate of entitlement which can last only for 10 years and especially for motorbikes it's only 6,000 for one bike for a, a, a paper that could only last for 10 years which is not really a good thing Right. As I feel as motorbike is the cheapest way of transport mode in Singapore. But with this kind of things, this kind of prices you are giving for the certificate of entitlement, it's hard for those dispatch guys especially to really make a living.